Hello everyone, it's Daniel here. And today, I'm going to show you how to check the voltage on your Ludlum meter. And I have a Ludlum Model 3 right here. Uh, the, by far the most popular meter. And then right here we have a Model 2241 with a 44-3 uh, uh, low gamma scintillometer. It's a sodium iodide crystal scintillometer. Alright, over here we have a, a plastic scintillometer. It's a 3x3. Three three. And then this is just the infamous 44-9 pancake probe. Alright. And right here we have the traditional probes for the multimeter. And this right here is of course the multimeter. It's a Vichy VC99, and I'll put all this info in the uh, in the information box under it. So if you're interested in uh, having this these items, you can uh, have a way to look them up. And then this right here is a Fluke. I forgot what the model number is, but I'll I'll put that in there. And this is what you're supposed to use to check the voltage. I'm no uh, electrician but it's a term called impedance and uh, because of that you have to use this probe to get an accurate reading. So and I'll show you how far off these probes will be if you use them. So first off let's check the Model 3 And this should be set at 900 volts, and this should be set at 650 volts. I, I use this scintillometer and this pancake probe with this. Both of these are recommended at 900 volts, and now it's a range that you can use it, uh, but it's recommended at 900 volts. All right, so we'll I'll show you the correct way first. And you'll plug this right in here. Alright. And we'll hook the ground to uh, this piece. And you have to hook the ground in there. If you don't, you'll get a flawed reading. Alright, and I, I, I normally set it in the battery setting. So, and you'll put the probe right in the terminal there and you guys you can see 900 volts all right so if we took this ground off I'll show you what you would, would happen and you'll get you know 40 some millivolts which is of course way too low all right and sometimes you'll have this clamp on somewhere and it will still give you a flawed result so uh, just uh, reposition it until you get a steady a steady reading all right so now let's check the 2241 and this one doesn't have a battery mode it just has a rate meter mode and a scalar mode so we'll put it in the rate meter mode clamp this on there And again, this should be set at 650. All right, as you can see, it's not giving me a a, a set reading. So you'll know that that ground is not positioned right. So we'll, we'll put put it somewhere else. All right, and you can see it it stops at 650. And even though right before this it was pretty close to 650, but it it didn't settle down. As you can see, it's just jumping all over the place. So that means you don't have your ground set. And as I move it, it just jumps. So
All right, now we'll do it with the traditional probes that most people are familiar with. And a lot of people use these to set the voltage on their meter. And we'll see how far it can be off. All right, and I'll I'll just do it in the Model 3 because in the in this one the alarm when I use these probes for some reason the alarm goes off, so but Trust me, I've checked both of them, and they're both off by the same amount when you use these. Alright, so remember this was set at nine 900 volts. Exactly, so we'll put this, I'll put it in the, same, the ground in the same place. And put this right there in the terminal. And as you can see, it's showing 714 volts. So you're almost 200 volts off of what it actually is. And in most most cases, it probably wouldn't hurt you, but it, it could. And if you're going to invest a whole lot of money into these probes, then it's safe just to get the, the correct setup to set it. So let's say this, so let's say if you get one of these probes and the range is, let's say 600 to 1200 volts and you want to run it at 1100 volts and you use these probes well it's actually at 1300 volts and you could damage the inside of this probe alright so now we're gonna see if we can change the voltage and I'll do I normally just set this at I leave this set at 900 because I use these two probes and they're both to set 900 I've actually never used this 44-3 probe with this meter. But I, I do use this centilometer with this meter sometimes. So we need to set this one at 900 volts. So we'll turn it on. We'll take these probes back out. And we'll plug up the correct probe for the multimeter. And we'll just check just to make sure we have our ground set right. And we do. So let's change the voltage. And you'll need a small flathead screwdriver. And right here it has an, on the model three, let's see you have five different screws. On this one you only have three. But they're all the same as far as setting the voltage. It'll have an HV. Let's see if I can bring it in here. That bottom screw. And the model three, mine's at the top. But you'll it's pretty obvious to see that. Alright, so we'll set this probe back on here. And let it settle down and uh, clockwise is increasing counterclockwise is decreasing so we need to go clockwise until we hit 900 volts all right and that's roughly 900 volts Give or take my OCD setting in now, so I'll have to need it at exactly 900 volts, or it drives me crazy. All right, and now that we have this at 900 volts, we can use uh, either one of these. And both of these are in well, both of these I just use the count per minutes for a comparison. So if you So if you want to use the exposure, the milliamp per hour or whatever, this can, switching it back and forth, can get it off and it will be off. But I don't use that, so if you're just using counts per minute, then you'll be, you'll be okay.
So let's make sure we let's hook up this cinnalamber to see if we have it right. Alright, I'll plug it in my model three first. Alright. And it's in the times one scale and it's showing about four thousand counts per minute. And background in this area is about 3,000, but I have a, a few uranium ore rocks close by now, so it's picking that up. But it's between three and 4,000 counts per minute. And now all we have to do is switch it, and let's see what we... I'll turn that off. And it should be between three and 4,000. And so it's showing about 4,000, which is pretty, which is close. It's 3,600, 3,700, so I'm satisfied with that. And again, I will put the info to all these accessories in the information box. Uh, this meter right here is a low end in meter. It's not a it's not a, a high quality meter, but it gets the job done. And this runs about $40. This probe here runs about $60. So all in all, you'll you'll wind up putting about $100 in it. But when you have this probe here, I'm not sure how much they are. I'm guessing new around $300, $350. This probe was about $250. And this centilometer new is roughly five hundred dollars uh, so if you're, gonna, if, you're, if you're gonna invest all this money into all this equipment you need to be able to check to make sure you have everything right because one mistake uh, you could uh, lose some lose some equipment like that and once you get the stuff it's just very simple to do and uh, allows you to rest easy knowing that you have the the proper voltage and that's about it if you have any questions uh, feel free to put them in a message me or comment until next time